Hello, and welcome to the Soundcraft UI video manual series. Today, I'll be demonstrating how to perform a full reset for the UI series mixers. Let's get started. The full reset is a complete factory reset and will set the mixer back to its factory build. To perform this reset, we're going to need a USB flash drive that is 32 gigabytes or smaller in size and formatted for FAT32. We're also going to need a text file that is specific for this particular reset. We'll demonstrate how to format that flash drive and how to create the reset file. We have the file available online as well, but we'll talk about that in a moment. Let's begin with Windows. We'll start by inserting the flash drive into one of the computer's available USB ports. Next, open Windows Explorer by locating the folder icon in the toolbar at the bottom or in the Start menu. Locate the flash drive in the Navigation pane on the left side of the Explorer window. Right-click the flash drive to reveal its drop-down menu. Select Format. The flash drive needs to be formatted to FAT32. This is typically the default setting, but if not, go ahead and select it here. Everything else can be left to the default settings. Select the Start button to begin formatting the flash drive. Next, we're going to create the text file needed for the reset. Start by launching the Notepad application. The body of the text file will remain completely blank, so nothing will need to be added here. All that's left to do is name the file and save it. To do so, select the File tab, then Save As. When the dialog box opens, locate the flash drive in the navigation pane and select it. Name the file Full Reset, all lowercase and with no spaces. Make sure that the Text Documents File Type option is selected here to ensure that a text file is created. Click Save to do so. Creating the reset file and formatting the flash drive can be achieved on Mac OS as well. To do so, insert the USB stick into one of the computer's available USB ports. To format the flash drive, we'll be accessing the Applications folder. This is usually located in the bottom right corner of the dock, but can also be located from the Go menu at the top left-hand corner of the toolbar when Finder is active. Inside of the Applications folder, select Utilities, then open the Disk Utility application. Underneath the External section on the left side of the window, the flash drive is listed as an option. Select it. Then click the Erase option in the top right corner of the window. A few formatting options will be made available to choose from. Select the MS-DOS FAT32 formatting option. Finally, select Erase to start the formatting process. To create the text file, start by launching the application called TextEdit which is also in the Applications folder. Once TextEdit is open, select the Format tab, and then choose the Make Plain Text option. The body of the text file will remain completely blank, so nothing will need to be added here. All that's left to do is name the file and save it. To do so, select the File tab, then Save. Name the file Full Reset, all lowercase with no spaces. The .txt file extension will automatically be applied to the file name. Next, we'll select the flash drive to store this text file. To do so, select the drop-down arrow associated to the Where option, then select the drive in the left panel. Then lastly, click Save. To download the reset file instead, here's how we can do that. 
In the description of this video is a link to our Anytime Help Center. This will take us to an article that contains step-by-step -step instructions and the necessary file for this reset. On the right side of the page, you'll see the Downloads section. The second link in that section should be what we're looking for. Click to download it. A zipped folder will be downloaded to your computer containing the text file and written instructions for the reset. Unzip the folder and copy the reset text file to the flash drive. To do this, right-click the reset text file and select Copy. Next, open the root directory of the flash drive, then right-click the file listing area and select Paste. With the text file now on the flash drive, we're ready to move on to the reset procedure. We'll start by turning off our UI mixer and removing the flash drive from the computer. Once the mixer is powered down, we'll insert the flash drive into any of the four USB ports located on both the front and side panels. Then, using something narrow like a paperclip, push and hold the reset button on the side of the mixer. While holding that button, we'll then power on the mixer. Continue holding the reset button until the Wi-Fi light illuminates solid blue. The reset process will now begin. The UI software will read the reset text file on the flash drive and complete the reset. We can leave the mixer alone for the next three minutes so that it can go through the reset procedure completely. Once three minutes has passed, we'll power off the mixer. Let's allow the mixer time to power off completely by letting it sit for 10 to 15 seconds. Then we can power it back on again. The reset is now complete. Keep in mind that you may need to update the firmware as the full reset will set the mixer back to its factory firmware version. If a firmware update is needed, the current version can be found on the mixer's product page on our website. For more news, product information, and troubleshooting tips, visit us at soundcraft.com or our Anytime Help Center at help.harmonpro.com.